want to take a minute or two here to show you the hypocrisy of people that claim to believe the Bible and yet they don't. All right, uh, that's the problem with a lot of people today. They'll say, well, I believe in the scriptures, and then they turn around and they attack the scriptures. Total hypocrisy. But I'm going to play a little bit of this here, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Listen to what he says here, what Mike Adams says. If you're there, you know, go go learn, go absorb it. It's it's amazing. You know, I, I would I would probably try to learn Hebrew and read the original writings of the Old Testament in their original language, because I don't trust all the translations, by the way. Okay. Um, he would learn the, uh, he wants to read the original writings. You know, um, the original autographs don't exist. These guys always do this, and he's learned it from other people. But this is a very uh, popular thing that you say, that's been said for a while now, uh, taught in the colleges, and then they teach it through the church buildings or whatever. You need to go back to the originals leading people to believe that there's some tie to the original autographs that were actually penned by the original writers, which there aren't. Um, by the time Paul is writing in the New Testament, referring to the scriptures, he's not referring to original autographs. Okay, he's referring to copies of copies. Uh, see, either you believe that God is an idiot that can't preserve a book, like most people do, and only the original autographs were inspired, or you believe that God is perfect and holy and can control a book and being preserved through men. All right, that's what I believe. If you're saved, you believe the same thing. But I don't trust any of the translations there, he said. And this guy here, this pastor here, shakes his head. Yeah, I don't either. You know, how can you be a pastor then? I fail to understand that. Let's see if I can get back to that. Let me play that again. Original writings of the Old Testament in their original language because i don't trust all the translations by the way no <laughs> so, that's right you know no that's right i don't trust any translations not even the king james bible the most powerful greatest book that's ever been written no no I, there's you can come up with issues oh so then what's the standard of truth that's right you are that's what they all lead you to it's all satanic people you have to wake up to that reality let me show you here another thing and you know they'll they'll say that stuff and then they'll go and they'll wax eloquent about how important it is that we have the word of god the word of god needs to be our standard listen to what's said here event or other events you have coming up and i just want to thank you pastor dave for all of your work and your dedication to the truth and to spiritual revival and i i gotta say you know not everybody's gonna make it but those of us who do survive, who know what's coming, who can navigate it, then we get to choose what kind of world that we want to create together. Yeah, we get to choose what kind of world we want to create together. No, you don't. <laughs> it's already written down in the scriptures that you don't believe. You see? See the problem with these guys? And this guy, you know, oh, no, I don't trust translations either. Then what's your standard? Oh, he's a pastor. Let's continue. And the, the biblical principles are the template for how the biblical principles are the template. But you said you don't trust any translation. Happiness and prosperity. Yep. 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 It is. It's put on the, the tablet on our heart. That's the word of God. We, we, every answer to every question is there. We just have to search it and find it. The tablet on our heart is the word of God. You heard him say it. It's a pastor here. He's some kind of mid-trib, you know, rapture guy or something, too. But, uh, yeah. Find it. Exactly. And live it. Yeah, and live it. And be obedient. <laughs> yes, well said. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, obey what, again? A book that doesn't exist? I don't trust any translations. They're, they're all with error and everything else. So, <laughs> you see? I've been exposing this stuff for years ever since I've been in ministry. And I just, there's more examples of it, just so many examples out there, but just another one, just watching this thing today, I was looking up something on uh, his channel. I heard some things about um, Mike Adams and I was checking out some stuff. I saw this, I thought, Pastor Dave Scarlett, never even heard of him, of his glory talks end times with Mike Adams. I thought, see if there, I can pick up on some different heresies here. No, just the same old stuff. Um, you can't trust any translation out there. Uh, but, you know, we have to make the Word of God our standard. <laughs> okay. 
So uh, watch out for that stuff. All right, if you're newly saved or if you're uh, studying this issue or whatever else, um, if you can't find a man that preaches out of the King James Bible and if he says, I believe it's a good translation, but it's not perfect, don't watch him. Don't waste your time on him. He doesn't even hold to the standards that he claims to hold to. He's a hypocrite. He's a liar. So uh, just a little challenge out there. I'm going to leave some sermons at the end of this video. You can watch um, on why it is necessary to believe in the Word of God in order to be saved. All right? It's not optional. So that is going to be it. Please watch the other sermons uh, for a lot more information on this issue. Thank you for watching.